Hi, Gemini. Thank you so much for stopping by. So I am here to do your love and relationship reading. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Yeah, we have the Five of Pentacles here at the bottom. So Five of Pentacles is really a card of feeling like we, you know, we, we lost something. We feel very much in a lack mindset. We feel like we especially in this deck here, this woman's laying on the ground. We feel like we've lost a lot of maybe resources or we've just lost a lot of, of, of uh, hope for something. And so I feel like this is saying that, yes, it may be a bit of a dark night energy. It could be something to where we have to really go through this change. We have to go through this feeling of being at a low point. But I really feel like after we're able to resolve that or accept that and let go of this maybe outcome that we had envisioned something different. The next card after the five of pentacles is the six of pentacles. So I feel like things are going to balance out here, but this is definitely about having to try our best to not see things as a lack mindset. So what is the topic here that we need closure on? We have angel of expression, speak your truth and express yourself clearly. How can we learn to accept the situation? Something which no longer serves you is about to end. Wow. What is the lesson? God of conflict resolution. You're being encouraged to walk away from a current conflict. Why did we have to learn this painful lesson? We have angel of psychic ability. Your intuitive and psychic abilities are strong at present. And then where do we go from here? Angel of Abundance, a steady flow of abundance is about to manifest. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the confirming card. So with the Angel of Expression, we have the Temperance card. Uh, the Devil with the God of the Underworld, which was, how can we learn to accept the situation? What is the lesson? Ace of Swords. Why do we have to learn this? Knight of Wands. And how do we move forward from here? We have the Hanged Man. So, this is definitely interesting because I feel like, obviously, looking at the God of the Underworld and the Devil, I mean, this is almost like the same kind of meaning here. The Devil with this, with this God of the Underworld. This is about how can we learn to accept the situation for what it is. So I really feel like whatever you're asking about and whatever this maybe topic is, I'm assuming for most of you, it's probably about love, but it doesn't have to be. Um, I do feel like this is saying that we really have to understand that something was not serving us. And it sounds very simple, but I really feel like what it's saying is that something which no longer serves you is about to end. So there's there, there's just an energy of having to accept that Maybe something was built on toxicity. Maybe something was just very overindulgent. Maybe something was uh, just that lower kind of obsessive. It could even be codependency here. So some of you are learning how to express yourself. So at the first um, card here, we have what do we need closure on? And we have angel of expression with temperance. So right away, I feel with the angel of expression, some of you feel like you have not spoke your truth or you feel like you have not fully been able to maybe, you know, speak what she wanted to say. So that's definitely why do we need closures? Because we feel like we didn't, we didn't say what we needed to say. So maybe you feel like, you know, for example, there was something that you had done in the past that you wish that you could resolve it, or you wish that you could show somebody that you're different, or maybe you were very hurt and you never stood up for yourself but there's just something here that I feel a lot of the collective is needing closure on when it comes to speaking your truth when it comes to speaking clearly and really standing up for yourself but what I'm getting really strongly actually in this reading is that what the lesson is is the god of conflict resolution with the ace of swords so it says you're being encouraged to walk away from a difficult or from a excuse me current conflict so I'm getting actually two different things with this. I feel like for some of you, if you have the opportunity, you know, to speak your truth. So if, if this is going to come through this opportunity, whatever this situation is, though, I think spirits automatically telling you that this is not something that's meant to be at the moment. This is not something that I feel is 
is serving you. You know, it doesn't necessarily mean that it will never happen in this lifetime, but for now, I feel like it's saying that something much more abundant is replacing it for you. But it could just be that the energy has to shift, the energy has to change. Right now, it's not serving you at the moment, and that's what they want you to know. It's 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 built on some form of 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 negative energy with the devil coming through. And so with this here, God of Conflict Resolution and Ace of Swords for the lesson, I feel like it's speaking to a couple of things. The first thing is that the lesson is actually knowing when to speak your truth, knowing when to listen to your intuition, strong intuitive ability with the psychic and the owl here. So when do you need to listen to your inner voice? When do you need to speak up? Maybe this is a lesson for you on closure to next time you're going to say what you need to say next time around maybe with a different person or a different situation you're going to learn how to speak your truth you're going to learn how to express what you need to say and not let something drag you down into this darker kind of uh, underworld i mean sometimes the devil too i'm getting can be very tempting it can be very luring so i'm getting that for some of you too is it's almost like it lured you in it almost like captivated you and you were unable to speak or you were unable to talk about something and this is just saying that this is the lesson really it's, it's really the lesson it's a lesson to why did you have to learn this the angel of psychic ability your intuitive and psychic abilities were strong at present so you really had to learn that it, 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 it's about listening to your inner voice it's about listening to you know that 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 intuition and we have the knight of wands here too which is really about moving forward so we're going to get a clarifier actually for these but um yeah so with the temperance card as well and the angel of expression for what needs to be resolved. The temperance is all about finding that balance, finding that peace, that inner tranquility, that balancing here. And with this five of pentacles at the bottom and let go of desired outcomes, you see how this is saying that whatever right now that you're either beating yourself up about or that you're overthinking about, spirit wants you to know that it's okay to feel this way. But the whole lesson is really that it's, it's about coming to terms with the fact that it either wasn't good for, for you from the start or at the moment, it's just not, it's not aligning up with you vibrationally. And I feel like this is saying that with these five of pentacles here, it's, um, it's kind of like you creating your own mindset. So instead of being in the five of pentacles, acknowledging that your intuition was right all along maybe some of you need to feel com confirmed by that is that your intuition was right all along trusting that inner voice and not the ego here that's another meaning of this devil too is that maybe some of you felt like this was something that was driven by ego maybe you felt that even you yourself you know your ego wanted to be involved in whatever this was or your or or ego just played a role in this whole thing. Maybe you had a hard time speaking up because of ego, because of stubbornness, because of pride. Um, and with this lack of desired outcomes, it's really just not about pushing anymore. It's about flowing. So, yeah. So let's go ahead and confirm these mixed emotions cards and then we'll get some other um, spirit messages. So what is the, what closure is needed? Temperance and the angel of expression. Feeling that we can kind of move on because we feel balanced inside. And feeling that we can let something go because we feel whole within ourselves. I mean, the temperance card next to the devil to me is really an indication that something was not it's it's i don't know it's like something was not the other half of us anyway or it wasn't not the other half of us but it wasn't um it just wasn't synchronizing with us whatever this is and i feel like that's what the temperance is here for too so some of you feel like you need that so let's get the first card for what needs 
closure right now. How can we learn to accept it? What is the lesson in this? Why did we have to go through this difficult lesson? And where do we go from here? So this just could be confirming what types of emotions do we need to work through when it comes to this. Bottom of the deck, we have vulnerable. So this whole thing is about being vulnerable, defenseless, unprotected, and helpless. So maybe you felt like you were uh, defenseless. Maybe you felt like you were just, you weren't able to, there, again, there's some topic here about not being able to defend yourself or not being able to speak your truth. And this is still maybe keeping you in a state of being haunted. You felt like you didn't speak up or you felt like you weren't able to. Maybe some of you were in an abusive type of a situation, or maybe some of you were just simply um, afraid to lose something and you just were, you couldn't speak up or you just had a hard time speaking up. And I feel like this is saying that the, the vulnerability is part of this whole lesson. It's not a bad thing to be vulnerable. It's just that sometimes we give our vulnerability to the wrong situations. And that's what you're being encouraged to, to understand about this is that it, it wasn't, it's not serving you. And it's only actually keeping your vulnerability as a scar and not a, um, not a positive thing. So what needs closure? We have angry. So some of you feel angry, angel of expression. Maybe you want to speak your, maybe you want to express your anger. Maybe with the temperance card, I'm not reading these in reverse. So maybe this is the temperance in reverse could be somebody who's not uh, balanced inside. This could be Sagittarius energy too. So maybe you just have a lot of anger that you just feel is pent up inside of you. Um, and you don't know what the outlet is. You're struggling to find the outlet. But the outlet is coming through as really your intuition. It's coming through as listening to your inner voice and not your ego. So it's, it's really a human emotion to be angry or to be upset. So it's totally understandable, but I feel like there's something about spirit reminding you that the reason that you learned this in the first place is because it brought you back to listening to yourself, to your inner voice. Like I'm getting a lot of you are very intuitive and sometimes people can push down our abilities because we live in a society that's very much based in, in ego. And I feel like this is saying too, that a lot of you, it's like you were the oddball out here, or you felt like you were not understood or, you know, like say you were involved with somebody and they didn't really get you the way that you, it's like you, you knew better but they didn't know that you knew, if that makes any sense. So why does this, um, let's see, what was I going to ask? Oh yeah, why does this, um, what do you need to see through? We have sad. So I feel like this is, this, this has made you obviously feel sad. This has made you feel that this is a situation that, um, just is kind of like this dying flower here. It's something that just had to come to a close because it's just not the right time. It's just not the right thing at the moment. So how can you learn to accept it is just um, with the sad card here, sort of moving out of the emotional body or just feeling your emotions, but then kind of moving out of the emotional body into this more higher vibration here with this rainbow around her too. So what is the lesson? We have curious. So maybe with the Ace of Swords, you're curious, or maybe this is something to do with you feeling that you're curious about um, finding the truth of something, or you're curious about a person. But this is saying again that I feel that it, it's better to just walk away. Even if you're curious about what somebody's doing or you're curious about what would have happened or what could have been, this is about, again, letting go of the desired outcomes here and just kind of letting things flow. Okay, so we have resist it for what, why did you have to learn this lesson? Look at that, same, the horses. 
I feel like this is saying that some of you knew something was kind of fleeting too, is what I'm getting. I mean, the Knight of Wands, this could even be specific for some of you if you're dealing with somebody who was very on and off with you in love, then I feel like this is saying that you really have had to um, come to this realization or you had to learn this lesson to understand that your intuition was was again on point to not close down your intuition or to not um, defend, you know, this, this intuition. Okay. And look at this. We have happy for what we're to move forward from here. So angel of abundance, happy and the hanged man. So with the hanged man, I feel like this is saying that you're getting a new perspective. You're really going to be having a brand new perspective if you have not already. And this is just a reminder from spirit that everything's going to be okay. Uh, abundance is flowing into you. And it's because I feel not to like paint everything out to be a bad, you know, the person that you're dealing with or whatever you're dealing with to be a bad, bad person or bad situation. But I do feel like there's a karmic scale that's being balanced because of this, because you not being able to, or feeling like you weren't able to really have your closure is going to be ultimately coming forward to you in the form of abundance, because this God of the underworld is telling you that there's something too, too low for you at the moment that you're trying to find that answer to. So it's like you're gripping onto the darkness when really this abundance is trying to come through for you. Okay, so let's get three of these. These are, these are these um, heart and soul cards. So let's get three of these, Spirit. What are the messages from spirit in regards to this? It's like you already know too. It's like with that psychic ability, some of you, the lesson is that you, you would already know if if this were to maybe come back around or if there were to be an opportunity to have closure, it's like you kind of already know the outcome somehow or you kind of already know what what this would be or you would know what would happen. So it's that's why it's better to just kind of keep your anger to yourself and just find an outlet to where you can express that and find your own closure is what I'm getting with that. Okay, so we have this card reflects protection, freedom, and success. It won't be quick or easy, but you will succeed and you are protected along the way. Free yourself of past doubt, fear, and guilt. Let go of fixed expectations. Be flexible, adaptable, and open to new avenues and ideas. A higher power is trying to guide you. Wow, so yeah, that's just saying that whatever this is, let go of the past doubts, let go of the fears. Um, be flexible, adaptable, and open. So that's also this card at the bottom too. Let go of desired outcomes. So don't try to push whatever this is. Because just to reiterate again, I feel like at the current vibration that this person or the situation is, it wouldn't serve you anyway. It could change in the future, but right now it doesn't serve you. And so holding on, it's like that quote. Uh, I don't know if that was a Buddha quote, but holding on to anger is like burning yourself. So if you feel angry at the moment, just know that things are going to resolve because you're very protected with whatever this is. And don't forget the abundance that's coming through because when you're able to shift into that different perspective of the hanged man, this abundance is going to flow to you immediately. So they really want you to be, they want you to know that you're protected right now, but you have to also work on the flexibility of your mind and how you are seeing things. So again, that position was what do you need to understand or something like that. And what you need to understand is that it's not up to you at the moment. It's up to you of how you control the situation or how you, how you perceive it, but it's not up to you about what happens here. You are focusing purely on the negative, but there is also a positive side that you are not seeing. Your mental attitude and thoughts can make things seem good or bad, beautiful or ugly. All is matter or perception, what you think you shall become. Be positive, for behind the perceived darkness there is much love. So pretty much what I just said. Um, 
yeah, there's a lot of light coming through, but you have to shift your, your thought process here. So it says, be positive for behind the perceived darkness, there is much love, light, and good fortune. The abundance card. So whatever this is that's bothering you right now, just try to try to surrender it. Try to let it go. Try to not see your vulnerability as a weakness because it's not. Essentially, your vulnerability and your your empathicness is is what's leading you to this abundance because you're able to kind of free flow from your heart center, whereas whatever this is kind of dragged you down into a place of anger and and it's almost like for those of you who are empaths another reason why this is happening is because it would kind of only drag you down right now it's time to reflect on what really matters ultimately this is love peace and happiness and you can only find these within yourself when there is peace and love in your heart there will be peace and love in your world for all your experiences are simply your own reflection. Yes. And look at that like exact same looking colors. And then we have this beautiful orange and yellow. So that goes without saying. This is just going to be you. Peace, love, and happiness. Finding within yourself. Only you can find this. So even if you're curious about what what's up with maybe this person or what would happen if we were to just speak again or what would happen if we were to just have closure there's a higher power right now and the, the, the lesson is listening to your intuition okay so i hope that this reading could help you guys i hope it could um help you on an issue that you are struggling to find closure on just know that i feel just intuitively too with everything that's going on it, it, it keeps coming up in readings that so much abundance is coming in if we're able to kind of let go of what we're holding on to because it's not serving us anymore. Okay, so take care and I will talk to you guys next time. Much love.